Hey there, I'm Bill, and I know stuff. And what I know today are green screen or chroma effects in Shotcut. These are easy to do. I'm going to show you how to apply the filters to make it happen. And some of the effects like this, or this, or even this, that you can do in Shotcut. It really jazzes up your videos, especially if you're doing intros and things for YouTube. And it's simple and fun. I have a lot of fun playing with this stuff. So let's jump in, get started. And if you have questions, please hit me up in the comments. I love answering questions. Might generate a whole new video. Let's get started. All right, let's jump right into Shotcut. Open up the intro file that I created. You notice I've got a big green screen there for my chroma effect. You can use any solid color, any big solid color. You can use any of that for the stuff. I'm going to go ahead and set up some markers so I know where I'm going to drop my uh, transition points. This is not something you have to do. This is just something that's useful when I'm, I'm putting things together. It keeps me from searching around, especially since I've done this a bunch. I'm going to add another video track and then move that track to the top because I want to overlay that on top of my effect track. We're going to put that there. So now let's go find that effect track. Pull that down. I like the asteroids. It's pretty cool. I got that off Pixabay, by the way. If you haven't got it, that's a good place to get all kinds of effects. And I'm just going to go ahead and size this down to start with. You notice you don't see anything right away. We're going to go up to filters and video. And then the, we want chroma key. We're going to use simple. There's also an advanced in there and it works quite well, but let's use simple for now. You notice it's got the little green on there already. I just went with that and you can see it and you can see there's a little bit of where it's already trying to bleed through because that green, I didn't actually set it. I just took the default. Click on the little dropper, touch the screen and there we go. You can see it's, it's not the best effect. Plus I'm getting a lot of bleed over on those edges there. To change that, you just change that distance in or out and you can make some interesting effects with that as well. But what I'm going to do is get it out to where it's just starting to give me a little bit of a green halo around myself. And I'm going to actually go back in here and re-pick the color. This is something not a lot of people catch up, catch up on. You want to grab that and grab an area. What that does is it takes an average of those colors. And you notice a lot of that green that was around me has disappeared now. Now I'm going to go back in with the distance and adjust that to get it out. I still got one little spot in the corner, but that's not too bad. The effect looks very nice. Sometimes I get a little bit of green or bleed through where my hair is just because it's fine and white and the colors, but this is doing a pretty good job right now. All right, let's go ahead and size this down to where I want to end it. And I'm going to go ahead and pull in my, my other track. This is kind of the fractal pattern. Because I've already set up that chroma key in the background, it it already looks pretty good. I'm going to have an effect right there where I want it to show up on my shirt, which is basically a solid kind of kind of bright blue color. You could use the keyframes, but I'm just going to cut the track right there, which won't really hurt anything. You don't have to edit anything else. Then it carries over the filter from the other one, which is green. But now I'm going to just get it, get the dropper, put it on the shirt, pick an area. Oh, there we go. 
I'll get a little bleed through on the side, but let's adjust the distance like we did until it's good. And there's very good contrast between my shirt and that green background. So I can get it almost out to the edge. It looks very nice. And you see, I had like a blue bin off, off to the side there that uh, the chroma key is also being applied to. Now, if you're doing your own effects, you're probably either going to size the screen up or make it where you can't see the out outlying area. It's not that important that it doesn't affect other things, but that's kind of up to you. I'm going to show you how one easy way to get this down. We're going to go ahead and select it and then we're going to crop. All right. It's under video crop rectangle. And we're going to do that on the entire track where I have my effects laid in. And all I'm going to do is size it down roughly to the screen there. And you can actually make it smaller than that. You'll notice the outside areas aren't affected anymore. If you just want to apply the effect to one particular place with the, the chroma, you can do it. You notice there's a little bit of black background on there where I've sized it down. That looks good. You don't see it bleeding off into other places. And that's one way to do it. You can also use size, position, rotate. Either size up your screen. Good for now. I, I think that looks great. If this helps you out, please think about subscribing. I can always use a like. I need all the friends I can get. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good.